Hello and welcome to Cooking with Love in the Heart of Avalon. Come on in. Welcome to Cooking with Love in the Heart of Avalon. I'm your host, Heidi Couture, and thanks for joining me today. So, cooking with love is really a philosophy that I believe in because when you prepare food lovingly for someone, it's a gift and you're cooking from your heart, and I believe that love makes the food taste better. So, we're going to do a technique today that is underrated, I feel, for the most part. And it's poaching, simple poaching. Uh, what I've done is I've started with a court bouillon. And a court bouillon is a short aromatic broth that is infused with the flavor profile that you would like to infuse into what you're poaching. Obviously poaching, for the most part, people are poaching fish or chicken, eggs, obviously. But today we're gonna do salmon. So what I've done in the court bouillon is I've included stock, which is very essential. So I've got a vegetable stock and obviously the more you can use your own vegetable stock, the better. So I've got vegetable stock, I've got water, I have a nice Sauvignon Blanc wine, I've got lemon and I have dill and salt and pepper. Now that's been boiling away here and developing flavor, but you also want to taste it. Always taste your food at every stage of the game. So I'll see. Perfect. So now what I've got is a real lemony, um, you can taste that undercurrent of wine and it's very, very nice with the, um, the boldness of the, the vegetable stock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain the court bouillon to another pot. And we're gonna use some of this lovely goodness later for another application. So now we've got the stock, if you will, or the court bouillon back on the heat. And poaching salmon is so super easy and it takes five minutes and then you know, you don't, don't be afraid to have it be a little pink. You want it to be a little pink. You don't want it to be dried out. It's nearly impossible to dry out salmon when you poach it anyway. So it's pretty foolproof. So we'll go ahead and take our lovely salmon, skin side down into the court bouillon, and then we let it do its magic. So the next part of our lovely poached salmon dish would be to create a creamy dill and wine sauce. And now here's another great thing about poaching liquid. All the flavor that you used to infuse the salmon with, you're now gonna take the same flavor profile and turn it into a sauce. So we never wanna waste anything, do we? We wanna use as much of what we've made as possible. So I'm just using some of that lovely court bouillon and putting it into a saucepan. Get that going. Probably we could chop in a bit more dill. We could use some for garnish, of course. That's always good. Food needs to look beautiful. It's another gift when you present beautiful food to people that you love. We'll do, and we're not gonna do a salt and pepper on this because I already used salt and pepper in the court bouillon, plus the vegetable stock has salt. So really be careful of the salt levels in a sauce because once you add salt, you can't take it out. So now I've just got some beautiful British double cream. And then we're just gonna start whisking those flavors together. I mean, how can you go wrong? You've got cream, wine, citrus flavors. I'm gonna add more wine because there's always time for more wine. 
So then we're just gonna get that to kind of marry together and form this luscious sauce. And you know, you can thicken it as well. So thickening agents vary. Um, I tend to like to do what's called a slurry, which is cornstarch and water, and you mix that together and you add it into a sauce. And what's great is it doesn't disturb the flavor of the sauce at all. So that's what I would recommend for you to do. So as that's doing its thing, I'm just gonna turn the heat up a bit. Just do some more dill chopping. And then I'll add that in. And then you're gonna to start to see it bubble up, which is what you want. You do have to be careful you don't take it too far because what happens is it breaks. That's what we call it. The sauce will break. You can bring a broken sauce back uh, so when it's a broken sauce, what happens is it sort of curdles and it's not a smooth, lovely consistency, which is what you really want on your poached salmon. So I'm going to have a little taste. Oh, <laughs> the crew will be eating well today. So that is good. That is luscious, actually. But I can't, I can't underestimate the flavor profiles that you're going for. So, you know, if you use a poaching method, and you can do chicken as well. I make a, a fantastic poached chicken that I actually use the chicken in a uh, curried chicken salad. And what's great about poaching is it softens your protein so that the other flavors you're adding in just really marry together well with whatever you're poached. I've had, you know, chicken salad where it's kind of like hard, the chicken, and it's not very nice. But if you poach your chicken and it's soft, then it absorbs the flavor of the curry or the mayonnaise or whatever you're putting with it, and it's really nice. So as this thickens up just a tad, I will go and get the, the uh, poached salmon, rather. Oh, we do love smoked salmon, but this is poached. So we've got our poached salmon, and I just put it really simply on a bed of spinach. This is so healthy. The only bad part about this is the cream, and it's really not that bad. It's not, it's not a lot of cream at all, and it just gives it that nice, unctuous finish to the palate. Okay, I think we're gonna be good. Now, I probably should have used a slurry, but I didn't, so we're just gonna go with it. But you know what, the flavor is here, and that's what's good. And the thing about the raw spinach on the bottom is the sauce, the heat from the sauce will just wilt the spinach, which is what you want. So we're just gonna get that. It might be a little messy, but it's gonna be good. There. And then do your dill garnish. Little dill on top, make it look fresh and pretty. Green is always the color to garnish with, um, or bright colors, because when people see green on a plate, they just think fresh, goodness, um, and that's what you want. You want everyone to feel that you want fresh, good food, and you're making fresh, good food for them. You could also do another lemon garnish, which is very simple to do, just to make it look pretty. Beautiful food, cooked with love, and is beautiful to look at. So we do one of those, do one of those, and there you have it. Beautiful poached salmon from the heart of Avalon. Mm -hmm.